Hi everyone, my name's Figgin and this is the second episode of the Stream School series. In this episode we're going to discuss the following topics. Streaming software, their types and streaming platforms where you can upload your brilliant and creative content. Let's begin. There are two primary streaming programs, Open Broadcaster Software and XSplit. There are also a couple of less popular but also powerful programs. They are Wirecast and vMix. Let's talk about each of them briefly. The first primary workhorse of an amateur streamer is Open Broadcaster Software or OBS. It's powerful, free and constantly updated by the developers. The drawback of this software is the lack of an integrated multi-stream function. In other words, you can't stream on several platforms at once using this software. Of course, you can go through the hassle of enabling that function, but we'll talk about that later. This software also lacks centralized technical support. On the one hand, this isn't crucial at all. On the other hand, if any technical issues arise, it will be quite difficult to resolve them. The advantage of this software over all the other similar software that we're going to review today is that it's totally free. The program's interface is simple enough, but it requires a little technical knowledge to adjust the settings. XSplit is software that is somewhat less widely used, however, that's not because it's worse, but because it costs money. Regarding the available functions, it's not as complex as OBS, however, it still provides the option to set codecs. The interface design of this software is completely different from OBS. That's why if you become tired of OBS and want to try out the commercial solution, a lot of hard work familiarizing yourself will be needed from the get-go. This software also has normal commercial technical support. The disadvantage is that it costs money, either a one-time payment or a cheaper monthly subscription fee. Wirecast is a professional solution that is implied by its price, around 700 US dollars for a standard edition and 1000 US dollars for an extended edition. But this application actually has a large number of functions, including an integrated restream server, the ability to combine several video streams into a single one, live scoreboards, and many other interesting things. It also has established technical support. The disadvantages are its high price, a complicated user interface, and high system requirements. The standard PC that we were talking about, with a core i5 CPU and 8 gigabytes of RAM, won't be enough for this software. vMix is more advanced software. It costs money, even though a standard edition will cost you less than a hundred bucks, but it has fewer functions than XSplit. A complete edition costs more than one thousand dollars. This definitely isn't our software of choice because we're just amateurs. By the way, if we're talking about the software used by World of Warship streamers, as far as I remember, almost everyone uses OBS except for Sasha Zlow and Los Yasha from the Bookseer channel. OBS is enough for me to make advanced video inserts or overlays. It's more or less clear regarding the recording software. But where would you stream? Now, there are plenty of places. Even the largest social networks like Facebook or vContacte provide us with different features to organize a live broadcast. There's a few choices, so let's review several of the most popular platforms. Let's start with Twitch. Currently, this is the most popular platform for gamers and streamers from around the globe. Twitch broadcasts all the more or less important and significant cyber sports events. This resource also has channels for all the large game developers and publishers. In general, I would say that this is the best service for streamers. Any streamer aid like Streamlabs or Donation Alerts integrates best with Twitch, while game streaming is what Twitch is known for. That's why the development team do their best to make it easy for streamers to use their platform. The service is free, like all the others, but the Twitch Prime subscription fee allows both streamers and users to get access to the advanced features of the platform and to some pleasant bonuses in many games, including our beloved World of Warships. Twitch has its drawbacks, even significant ones. Video navigation during a live broadcast is highly inconvenient. It wasn't available previously, but it has now been implemented poorly. A video is saved for a limited period. This period is 14 days for basic users and 60 days for subscribers and partners. Twitch observes intellectual property rights. That's why all the more or less famous songs can be cut from your video. In other words, an audio track can be muted. However, Twitch doesn't impose any restrictions on live broadcasts. Competition is extremely high on the platform. That's why it's pretty hard to start streaming on Twitch. But if you can surpass these problems at the start, 
you'll be able to achieve maximum public coverage. You can't upload a ready-made video on Twitch. Therefore, if you intend to edit a video, do some post-processing or show a replay of anything that you didn't stream live, you have a single platform to go to, YouTube. So, YouTube. It's the oldest service for video hosting. YouTube has provided a live streaming feature since around 2012. Even though the gaming community is less numerous there than on Twitch, YouTube is a single adequate service that allows you to upload and host videos eternally. Moreover, the recent YouTube gaming feature is just a little inferior to Twitch in terms of convenience and functions. Apart from that, the service itself doesn't imply any advertisements whatsoever. All the advertisements you can see on YouTube are shown because a right owner, in other words an author of the video or some of its content, decided so. YouTube has probably the best search engine. YouTube and correct SEO can greatly increase your number of subscribers. A disadvantage is that integration with different aids works poorly, but Nightbot and Streamlabs are consistently moving towards increased interaction with YouTube. You should also know about the very strict YouTube policies regarding intellectual property rights, because violation of these policies may lead to many unpleasant things like blocked videos in specific countries or even terminated accounts. That's why you should be very careful when you use someone else's famous content, especially popular music. There are several ways you can check whether you may or may not use specific audio tracks. We'll describe these ways in the article accompanying this video. In any case, you should observe extreme caution. YouTube technical support could be better. Previously, I spent four months contacting their wonderful support after I had experienced an unknown bug when I couldn't run the video that was constantly displayed in the live broadcast list. But I should say that you don't have to contact either Twitch or YouTube's technical support often. We'll continue to discuss a couple of interesting services. They are Cyber Game and Good Game. They have fewer viewers than Twitch and YouTube, but they have their own friendly community. They also have issues with saving videos, and different streaming upgraders and aids don't work with these platforms. However, the developers are constantly trying to add different features to their services with mixed success. By the way, you won't need these features all the time. The most distinguishing aspect of these servers is totally Total neglect towards intellectual property rights. So, if it's essential for you to stream to Linkin Park or Madonna songs, these are your platforms. So the question is, what platform should you choose? If you want to upload ready-made videos, you have only one choice, YouTube. If you're considering live broadcasts, you have several platforms to choose from. Those who desire convenience and maximum interactivity and want to gather the largest community in the world prefer Twitch. YouTube is good for those who don't want to bother with strong competition or those who upload mixed videos like life videos, vlogs, reviews and other content made be beyond live broadcasts. And those who prefer small but friendly communities and those who are allergic to intellectual property rights should choose Good Game or Cyber Game. There are also streamers who want to boil the ocean by broadcasting on several platforms at once. There is such an option, it's called multi-stream. There are two primary options for a multi-stream. First, you can use one of the Restream services like Restream.io. Using this service, you can stream on more than 30 platforms simultaneously or, second, you can also organize a Restream server on your own PC using several tricks. We'll explain these tricks in detail in the accompanying article. Well, that's it for now. That was Stream School. See you!